Hello, my name is Teresa Audette, and I'm an artist currently based in Madison, Wisconsin. I received my bachelor's degree in furniture design from the Minneapolis College of Art and Design, and I'm currently at the University of Wisconsin-Madison working on my master's degree in fine art. So this object here that we're gonna be creating today is called a whirly gig or an automaton. So a whirly gig is a type of kinetic sculpture that moves via the wind or via a person's hand or any other type of kinetic motion. So what we're making today is this small whirly gig automaton. It has a few different parts and I will be showing you how to create this wooden box. Um, other important parts, this is called the cam. You will also need a handle and a little stopper piece here. And this piece is called the cam follower. And then we'll, we'll top it off with putting an object um, that moves on the top. Here I have in front of me all of the pieces that we'll need for our box. I have the two sides of the box, which have my hole that's just a little bit larger than a quarter inch. And then I have the top and the bottom. And we also have our cam, which is either a circle or an oval. And it has a quarter inch hole drilled in the center of it. And the hole should be off, off center actually, so that it spins eccentrically. We also have a handle piece. You have a dowel that will go horizontally to be the axle and a small piece of wood that will be your stopper. And you have a cam follower and a of dowel that goes vertically. So I've created this jig, which is a little tool that will help me nail this all together. And I'm gonna start by placing the sides of my box on the sides of this jig. And then I'm gonna take the top of my box and glue and nail it to the sides of the box. And I have some little 16th inch holes that I've drilled here that helps me put the nails in place. So I'll put a little dab of glue. And put it here. And you wanna kind of line up the edges so, it, so it's nice and square. And take your nails and put them right in the holes. And then what you can do for extra safety is use this little block of wood or something else to, so I don't have to have my hand right where I'm gonna hammer it. So I'll hold it down with this and give it a nice big whack. So now that I have my first piece on, I can take my jig and put it to the side because I don't need it anymore. And now we're gonna nail the bottom of our box on. The same thing, just kind of line everything up and put my nails and hammer in. Now when you're hammering the nail, what you wanna do is hold your hammer at the back end here and try to hold it nice and straight, not really like this or like this. And just look at the nail really hard that you're gonna hit. Just like that. So now that I have my box all put together, I'm gonna start by taking uh, my cam follower and making sure it's glued to the vertical dowel. You can have someone with a hot glue gun help you with this. And I'm gonna put that into the top. And you wanna make sure it's nice and loose. If it's not falling down really easily, you might wanna make this hole on top a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna take my, oops. It might help to hold this upside down while we do this so that this piece doesn't fall up. I'm gonna take the, uh, the horizontal dowel, the axle dowel, and put my stopper end piece on it. So you start by putting your axle into one side and then taking your cam and putting it through the axle. And then the other side of the box. And then to finish it off, we'll put the handle on. Just like that. There we go. A working whirly gig. Now, an interesting thing you can do here is you can move this cam if it's directly in the center of our vertical dowel, then our piece will move up and down. 
if it's a little bit to the right or the left, then your piece is going to move up and down and it's going to spin around and round. So you can kind of play around with what types of motion happens. If your uh, vertical dowel is getting stuck, you might need to either drill this hole on the top to be a little bit larger. I should have been wearing my safety glasses. Or you might need to add more weight to um, the bottom of the cam follower. So you could add some metal washers or you could add some more pieces of wood or something so it flows down easy. And if any, if your cam is slipping and sliding, if your hole is too big, you might want to put a little dot of hot glue so that that doesn't go anywhere. To create your whimsical figure, whimsical creature for the top, you can use a variety of materials. It can be almost anything. Paper, cardboard, uh, basketry, rattan materials, wooden objects. You want to think about things that are lightweight and things that can be activated with motion. Now I'm going to show you the same exact thing, but how to do it in cardboard, um, either with cardboard pieces that you've cut up into, into a box shape, or how to use um, a found box to create your object. So as you can see here, in this mock-up that I've made, there's a couple of extra things that we're going to have to do in cardboard. So for this one, I put some extra supports around the side so the cardboard box doesn't fall apart and a little bit extra support where the holes line up. But the most important thing to, for using cardboard is hot glue. I'm going to start with my four pieces of my box and I have my two sides which have a hole drilled in it and that's going to fit my axle piece and then your top and your bottom. And I am going to just take my hot glue gun. Okay. And I'll do the same thing to the top before it gets too dry. And I can put my box together. You want to try your best to make sure things stay kind of square-ish. That's going to help us later. All right, there's our cardboard box. And so in this case, I used a uh, very thick cardboard that has multiple layers of cardboard tape um, glued onto each other. So it's really thick, and I don't really need any extra supports in this case. And what I do need to do is drill a hole in the top of my box for the cam follower piece. One teacher tip that I will share with you is to use a brad pointed drill bit. And a brad point drill bit just has a tip and two little wings that are very sharp and it's going to make a really clean hole in cardboard or in wood. I've got the hole marked in the center of my cardboard and I am going to just hold the drill right up and down and go really slowly and drill all the way through this piece of cardboard. Now you want to kind of get all the little fuzzy parts out because those will trip you up later, but there we go with my hole. So now we can assemble it just the same way that we did the wooden piece. So I will start by um, putting my cam follower onto the vertical dowel and I'm going to feed that up through the bottom of the box. And I can see that my hole is a little bit too tight, so I'm going to use a bigger drill bit to drill that out. Okay. Now that goes up and down pretty smoothly. Okay, so now that my cam follower is in, my, in place, I'm going to take my axle dowel, which is just a little bit longer than the length of my box, I'm going to put that through one end, make sure I get my cam in here in place, put it through the other side of the box, and then I can put my stopper piece and my handle piece in place. 
And now because it's all cardboard, I'm going to need to hot glue some of these things together. So once that glue dries, we will have a, another form of a whirly gig. And while the glue dries, I will show you one last thing, how to create the same type of thing in a found box. So this is a, a small box and it's gonna work really well. It's already very structural because it's uh, square, rectangular. But what I'm gonna do is cut this lid off because we don't need that. So you wanna be very careful when you're working with knives, anyone who's working with knives. So I'm gonna hold with this hand and cut with this hand. So now that I have my box ready, I want to make sure that the axle is just a little bit longer than your box. And you want to make sure that your cam can spin freely inside of your box without hitting the sides. And I'll say, you know, kind of eyeball it to figure out where your cam goes. And I'm going to measure mm, two and a half inches down. And that's where I'm going to drill my hole, two and a half inches down, and one and a half inches from the side. Okay. And then in the top of my box, I'm also going to go split that in half, which looks like about two and a half, and one and a half. Perfect. Now that I know where my holes are, I can drill them. And now, just like we did with the other pieces, we're just going to assemble the whirly gig. So now that I've got all my pieces in, I just have to do some troubleshooting. So one thing that you might have to do with the cardboard ones is add some extra pieces of wire to support uh, everything because the cardboard is not as strong as wood. So I'm going to make a little loop that goes over my rod here. Make sure that's kind of loose, kind of tight, but kind of loose. Okay, let's see if that does it. Oops. <laughs> Needs a little tweaking, but it'll work. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, thanks for building with me today. This has been a great time. Enjoy making your whirly gigs.